hello. Well, we're having in the teepee by the campfire, which I guess needs a little more help, doesn't it? Doesn't look like there's much wood on there anymore. We're reading comments. Yes, I have 103 comments. How many did I have a minute ago? Um, this is about from Casa Grand Cats about part two of the backstrap loom and she says is that this at your local library no Mira is not at my local library it's in a building that is in the village just a regular little building it used to be a schoolhouse an old old schoolhouse and we arts people have gotten together and taken over the mortgage of it and pay all the related expenses with it and have our things in there our, our art things happening in there and we make money by um, having uh, musicians come and play and they're charging 10 or 20 dollars and everybody lots of people fill the building in and then there's workshops on certain Saturdays throughout the winter those are called the winter blues workshops and people come and one person will come and teach a whole bunch of people how to do something a, a, a highly intensive lesson and so that's how we pay for it but that is not the local library that is at an old I don't know, 1800 schoolhouse. Okay, and that was for Casa Grand Cats, who is where it's warm. She's a butterfly. She leaves when it gets cold. Okay, and then on the part six of the backstrap loom, oh wait, I have to go back. That was part two. Now I need to see what the rest of the comments are. See, I can't just look at one comment because they only tell me about the last one. D and Emily said, um, that is so interesting. It's just amazing to me. I didn't know how it does. But you know, these people in Guatemala, they have those backstrap looms, and that's how they weave all the time. You should Google Guatemalan weaving. It's so beautiful. Okay, Mukwa1111 said, Thanks goodness for the elders that pass along the knowledge and keep the heritage arts alive. It's true, isn't it? Anchorit teaches us many things, and she's a, a grandmommy. She's an older grandmommy. Um, in fact, I think she might be a great-grandmother. I think. I don't remember. Um, and Lil Tiny said, so the standing up piece goes with a little piece that looks like popsicle sticks? I'm confused. This is so intriguing. No. The standing up piece, there was a, um, you have to look at that video again to see what I'm say, talking about, but, ooh, that fell over and it's nice and warm on my cold hand. Let's see, it's pretty far away. It's two feet from me. See, I'm way over here and it's also about a foot and a half down. Um... Now that standing up piece was another backstrap loom, which is, I'm not sure how it works. Oh, I remember. To make it work, you stand up and then sit down. Stand up and sit down. So your strings go through that stationary thing. And there's slots and there's holes. And so with the strings that are in the slots, they rise when you stand up and they go down when you sit down, which opens the, the gap, which is called the shed. So that, that standing up piece was a, a, a all by itself. Um, and is this at your local library? That was the one I already answered. Okay, we'll move right along. But now when we go back, you see, we have to go back. It starts at personal messages. So I have to click on comments. So way over here. And then I have to go over here and have to click on next, next, next. Next, and that is 81 to 100. But there must be something missing. Ah, I didn't ever do this one down here. D and Emily, she said, stuffing holes in the teepee. That was which the video was, and she says it's getting it all cozy. It really makes a difference. And the fabric up there, it adds a different texture. You know, you have wood and you have glass. And some of the frames are metal, like up there, it's a metal frame. And this one, I th 